Have you ever tried running the Discord client on Linux and found that, oh, the audio for the screen share does not work? Well, that's because of uh, some old Electron version that Discord is using because they can't be bothered to properly support their Linux like client. Uh, and Discord is never going to do it any better. They have so far for years and years not given a shit about the Linux client. It exists, but it's shit. So how do we solve the issue? Well, the answer is a third party client, right? And there's one pretty good one I have found. It's called Desktop. Uh, and it fixes this actually. It allows you to do Wayland screen sharing with functional audio. And it's not only that, it's basically a wrapper around something called Vencord, which is like a mod for Discord that allows you to do things like apply themes to make it look different, to use plugins to change functionality. So it means you can, for example, use something called Fake Nitro which without like you having nitro allows you to send like stickers and uh, emojis and stuff that you normally couldn't it also allows you to uh, like screen share at a higher resolution than you would with normally for, uh, for free and so on now it is worth mentioning that third party clients like this do technically violate discord's terms of service uh, but it, they don't really enforce it properly, so it's not that likely that you would get banned, but it is possible that you do. Uh, also, for example, using plugins. At least the built-in ones should be relatively safe, according to them, but like if you really like don't want your account to get banned, just like don't use fake nitro or any of these other plugins. Uh, just something that's worth noting. Uh, again, not too likely to happen, but it is possible. However, what this client allows us, what this client allows you to do is not only to use these like plugins and stuff. Again, it fixes the goddamn issues with the screen sharing. It also fixes any other issues. I mean, it's basically just a like web app wrapped in like an app, and then like with the extra stuff to make like the screen sharing and stuff work properly. It's great, uh, and uh, I figure it's worth shouting out if you are having this issue. Uh, because it just like basically does everything Discord should be doing, but it does it in a third party form. And what's even better is that Desktop, the actual desktop client, is uh, made by the same developers who make Vencord. So there isn't like a fourth party that's making like a wrapper of a third party like mod. Instead, it's just like a client by the same people who make the mod. So it's just you only have to trust or like rely on one party being like one third party being like responsive and uh, like updating things and so on. You don't have to rely on like multiple parties in the like chain. Anyways, that's it. Goodbye.